So in summary, modes, mode is not part of the property inspection. <clears throat> modes not part of the property inspection. It requires a separate license. Ideally, you should do with mode assessors to avoid misinterpretations and to be able to get recommendations and advice and mode protocols. When you should do it? People that have allergies, sensitivity, asthma, if you saw previous leaks in the properties, uh, in the property, visible signs of mold, stains, smell, right? Especially if it's foreclosure of lips, I always like to recommend. Be very careful with mold around AC components because the AC moves the air several times throughout the day that leverages the effect of molds. How to prevent it? Uh, keep AC running so the humidity gets lower. You want to have that 45-55% range inside your house. Use good AC filters, disposable, more 8 to 13 change every couple of months. If you have water damage, dry it out quickly with specialized companies so mold doesn't grow. Um, if, area is a, if the area of the mold is very small, 10 square feet, you can fix yourself. Um, keep the sea running. You can use bleach most of the time to remove mold. You can use mold proof paint. These products are a good option. If you have more than 10 square feet, you want to engage a mold remediation company. They are going to encapsulate the area with plastic. They're going to avoid those mold spores to get into the air. When they remove the drywalls, they're going to replace the drywalls with new ones. Um, and they might do some repairs on the wall voids. That's a remediation. It's not a rocket science. Um, if you're in a real estate transaction and the home is as is, wow, as is is not supposed to have mold. So always come back to the, to the seller, share the lab results and the protocols, and now they know they have to disclose. Because the issue will not go away, there is always room to negotiate, right? So I always advise everyone in the registry transaction, have mode, get a few codes, find a reasonable company, and negotiate as part of the deal. The buyer can take a decision are they willing to invest that money to fix? Is the seller willing to give a rebate? Are you willing to meet in the middle? That's how to close deals with mold. Mold's not a rocket science. It's relatively simple. Most of the cases, you just replace the drywall, put a new one, there's no filter there. You, you can sell, you can buy a house with molds. Most of the cases, it's just knowing what to do and do that properly. After remediation, you do a test and prove that this was repaired. So do a post-remediation test, if you will. Guys, so nice to meet you. We only have one minute to go.